Lavasoft Adware 2008. Once you've downloaded it, install it. Select your language, click OK. Go through the wizard, one step at a time, accept the license agreement. Enter your name. And because you're a home user, just put in home user because it's not available for corporate users. Also select if you have multiple users for anyone who uses this computer. Use the standard installation. Click next. And let it run through the setup. In a short while it will start to do the update for the latest definition files. It's a very easy program to use. As this is a free version, you don't have a license, so just click on Use Free. Now it collects the updates. Wait until this is completely finished. Click Close. The installation is finished. It will now start the main program. Now in the main user face, you do not have real-time monitor or automatic updates. You have to do this manually. Well, we've just done the updates, but normally you would just click on the update button. Scan, you have the option of smart scan or full scan. You cannot schedule it or configure a custom scan in the free version. Quarantine and ignore. Quarantine and ignore. After a scan, Select what you want to quarantine or what you want to ignore and add it to the lists. Hardwatch doesn't work in this version so ignore this. Web update as I've said you have to do manually. The tools and plugins are only available in the uh, paid for version not the free version. Settings. You can set your default home page, your default search, search page. Scanning. Tick the scan ADS. Now, unload browsers. I close all my windows when I'm scanning anyway, so that really doesn't apply. And it's a good idea to have all windows closed. You can run it as a background process, you can suppress the progress bar, deactivate AdWatch because it's not available, so it's pointless having it there. Auto scans, just leave this as it is. The user interface, you can integrate it into Windows Explorer, you can dump the exceptions to disk, you can use grid lines in the results list if you like. It's important that you leave this one ticked, write protect system files. You can have a sound played if you want, it's entirely up to you. And you can change the animations. Ensure you've got the right language. You can also check, change the skin, which will take effect after you've restarted the program. So pick one that suits you or stick with what you've already got. We go back to status. Go to scan now. I'll perform a smart scan but I will pause it whilst it's running and it doesn't take long. Uh, depending on the size of your hard drive, how much surfing you've been doing and a multitude of other things. At the end of the scan, you'll be presented with this window. If you have any critical objects, it will show them here. Now, just tick the boxes. You have the option. You can quarantine it. You can add to ignore. And again, privacy objects, you have the same. Just tick the box. You can add to ignore if you wish. Check each one out. Just click the plus sign and find out what it is. But most privacy objects you wouldn't want. Click remove. That's it. Finish. You can set a system restore point. And that basically is it. Nice and easy to set up. You know, you can find more details on my blog. There's a support forum for Lavasoft. And all the details are there. I hope this has helped you.